The United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, has set forth a bold strategy to establish Russian civil aviation as a peer competitor to Boeing and Airbus by 2030. The company anticipates making substantial progress within the next five years. CEO Vadim Badha presented this multifaceted plan in June 2025, which addresses both technical and organizational challenges. Altitude Attics examines how feasible these measures are for enabling UAC to compete with global titans. Badha emphasized that Russia has become the first country in the world to be able to manufacture wholly import independent civil aircraft. Certification is currently underway for the flagship projects, the SJ-100 and the MC-21, which are being extensively modernized. The MC-21 is nearly finished replacing its final foreign components with domestic equivalents. In the years ahead, UAC intends to manufacture 36 MC-21s annually. Despite previous discussions regarding the concentration on the shorter version due to weight concerns with the 310 model, both versions, the MC-21-310 and the MC-21-210 will be produced simultaneously. Deliveries of modernized Tu-214 aircraft for civil aviation will commence in 2026. One of the key innovations will be the reduction of the personnel size from 3 to 2, which will improve operational efficiency. Simultaneously, UAC is changing its approach to collaboration by including small private enterprises from related industries in the production chain. The organization provides them with certification and technology, thereby establishing an adaptable supplier network within the nation. This process expedites the adoption of innovations and reduces reliance on large monopolies. A critical component of the strategy is the rigorous optimization of the management structure. This will result in the reduction of over 25% of the management personnel, which is expected to improve manageability and reduce costs. The civil division of UAC may be prepared for an initial public offering within the next three to five years. Consequently, the organization will be optimized for transparency and efficiency. UAC is currently in the process of actively negotiating the decentralization of production abroad with a particular emphasis on the assembly of the MC-21 in India and Latin America. A critical prerequisite for the export of new Russian aircraft is the building up of operational experience within Russia. Only after such experience is achieved can foreign customers be expected to trust the aircraft. UAC has previously mentioned selling aircraft to India on preferential terms. The first orders of Russian airliners will be more expensive than their Western counterparts as a result of high development costs and low production volumes. The Russian government is working to reduce the cost of the acquisition for the first batch of aircraft. Nevertheless, UAC intends to achieve an economic efficacy that is comparable to that of Boeing and Airbus by 2030. Badeha observes that Russian aircraft should become competitive in the global market in terms of technological development, production efficiency, and customer satisfaction. The SSJ-100 is currently showing flight hours that are comparable to those of Airbus and Boeing, which is progressively altering operators' perspectives, according to the UAC head. Simultaneously, experts acknowledge that the comparison of regional and mainline aircraft based on flight hours is not wholly accurate. However, the successful operation of new domestic models is crucial for the establishment of trust. UAC is emphasizing automation and robotics in its production policy with the objective of enhancing labor productivity by a minimum of 30% by 2030. For example, in 2025, a machining complex with 300 pieces of equipment integrated into automated lines will be commissioned in Moscow's Rudnevo Industrial Park. Significant growth in output is enabled by large-scale investments in civil aviation, support for domestic machine tool construction, and the establishment of new production facilities. In 2025, UAC intends to increase aircraft production by 30%, as it has already achieved record figures in 2024. Special emphasis is being placed on the reduction of costs and the enhancement of competitiveness in both domestic and international markets. In accordance with the President's directive, the proportion of domestic aircraft in Russian airline fleets 
is expected to reach 50% by 2030. In addition to technological advances, UAC is using state support measures, such as legislative guarantees that prioritize domestic equipment in airline fleets, to accomplish this. Consequently, UAC's strategy for achieving the same level of success as Boeing and Airbus is predicated on a comprehensive approach that includes the pursuit of import independence, technological innovation, the optimization of production and management, the development of the domestic market and exports, the establishment of a flexible cooperative network, and the preparation for entry into public capital markets. Now the question is, can UAC compete with Boeing and Airbus by 2030? Despite UAC's efforts to address historical weaknesses, such as fragmented management and import dependency, the company is on the verge of achieving dominance in the Russian domestic market, which is being driven by strong state mandates and incentives for airlines to prioritize domestic aircraft. Nevertheless, Matching Boeing and Airbus on a global scale within five years is a highly ambitious goal, as the established scale, brand reputation, and customer trust of these Western giants present significant barriers. Although the efficiency gap may be bridged by UAC's emphasis on automation, supplier flexibility, and management optimization, it will likely necessitate additional time to overcome higher production costs and achieve comparable technological sophistication, particularly as Boeing and Airbus continue to innovate and preserve their competitive advantage. Now, do you think Russia can match Boeing and Airbus in the next five years, or is it just a mission statement? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.